Hello, my internet fans. We're here again with the latest installment of Step Boy Rants. That's me. I'm the Step Boy. And as always, these rants are Step Boy approved. Apologize for the voice. I've been fighting a cough for the past five days. So, and I've been going to work too. So, so let's talk about some stuff. Talk about the wrestling. Actually, watch on TV. The uh, Fallout episode 1001 of Monday Night Raw shows AJ as the general manager. Sorry. Bless you. Jay's not feeling good either. One. One. So. You got me sick. And I'll get you sick. Kiss him off. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Actually, the, the thousand and one episode got delayed a little bit because the pyro went off and caused the fire. Right. And we had to see that. How, how many replays was that time, Sean? And I, three times. Um, I can't have 568. I mean, for, first off, you know, this three hour thing sucks. If it's, <coughs> if it's a, uh, if it's a bad enough show, I mean like where every title's on the line, or or every match is a hell in the cell, or, or, or every match is uh, something big, then by all means, go. For, come on, Vince, go back to the two-hour format before people start changing the channel to, to must-see TV and all that stuff. They're going too soon. CM Punk decides he's going to drop one of his pipe bombs again on The Rock. And he gets to sit on the announce table. How, how many times did they show that that scene over and over? Twice! There, it seems like there were more replays than actual show. <laughs> they didn't have enough concepts. <laughs> and yet they showed the fire more than they showed the WWE Champion going off. Yeah. And and the main event, show versus Cena. Did did I even watch the main event? No. I was. I did when it was WrestleMania 20. Ah. <coughs> then it was the curtain jerk. Yeah, for the U.S. title. Yeah, that's right. But it, it's like, I was so bored with the show and I was tired that I didn't even give a damn that Cena and Show fought to a whatever. And now there's a main event triple threat match at SummerSlam. Come on, really? What else happened? Del Rio and Santino again? Really? As much as I like you, Santino, either defend the U.S. title or lo or lose it. Put it on Del Rio. I don't know. I mean, step boy. Yes. The gingerbread meat has something he wants to show you. <coughs> It's 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 lost its luster. I I appreciate the the uh, I appreciate Jeff tried to show me the 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 money in the bank picture, but super size? No, no oh. super size. I I appreciate the the offer, but that just shows you it's time to change it. Okay, change yeah. it back to Kings. And Keys then and then Del Rio, I'm not going to wrestle until SummerSlam. Whoop the frickin' do! Waste two more weeks of my time. They'll. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah. What, what else happened? It, uh, after, after Del Rio match, Brodus Clay came out. Big deal. Vicky came out. She tried to dance. Uh, Damian Sandow came out. Kicked Brodus's Clay, Brodus's ass. Okay, fine. What else happened? We went back last, we had, we had a recap of last week with Trips and Brock. Another recap, another replay. Boring. And then we get a street fight. Now here's my problem with that. Your choices were a street fight, a no-holds-barred match, or a false can anywhere match. Take it, Renegade. You go right ahead. Aren't they all pretty much the same thing? Exactly. Street fight has to be one in the ring. No-holds-barred is a horrible movie from 25 years ago. <coughs> false can anywhere is false can anywhere. But still. So I said pretty much the same thing. The I mean, only difference much. I knew is... It, Whenever there was a street fight, they would wear their jeans. 
or or whatever or their their slacks that could double as ring tights or whatever. They come dress as you are in street fight. And let's face it, in the PG era, these matches suck. Big deal, you brought out a kendo stick and you turned him into an Irish pinata. And then he turned into an, into an Aberdeen pinata. Pinata! And then here come the, the loony guys trying to think that Daniel's crazy. I'm sorry, folks. Raw just sucked this week. In fact... Oh, the, the Kofi versus Titus on... Yeah, there was a match. Del Rio, Kofi's, uh, show and, and that, and the street fight. Four matches in three hours, and, and a, a... Was there anything else? Oh, Jer a tag match. Jericho and Christian against the, the Miz and Dolph Ziggler, and Randy Orton came back. So that's... Uh, one, uh, six matches? Six matches in, in the course of three hours? Did I miss any other matches? There has to be more than that. Either way, I'm pissed off by it. And it sucks. For the record, I'm pissed off about it too because it was on my birthday and it sucked. Yeah, WWE, you, you, you ruined Jade's birthday. They didn't ruin it, they just acted. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Hounds of Hell had more to do with ruining her birthday than WWE <laughs> did, but it, WWE didn't exactly help. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like I said, if, if, if Raw keeps going like this, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not going to, I'll, I'll read this, the results, and, and it's like, I'll, I, I just don't, uh, anyway. There's been a lot of protesting going on in the world. There have been protests in the city of Anaheim, and there are now protesting for Chick Fila. The now I'm going to apologize in advance that I don't have all the details, so if my stories come off wrong, I'm going to say whatever. But the Anaheim protesting is due to the Anaheim Police Department fatally shooting a suspected gang member who was unarmed. And he died. Why did they, they shoot? Him? The the police felt that they were threatened, and they shot, and the guy died. And of course, now the city of Anaheim, or the people of the city of Anaheim, want justice. First, they protested in front of the Anaheim police station. Where that belongs. Yes. A week later, they decided to do it in front of Disneyland. Because Disneyland is in Anaheim, and it's a it's an Anaheim. In fact, on Facebook, some people have renamed Anaheim as Anna Crime. <laughs> I like what they did there. Yes. Now, yes, I'm the cast member. I get all that, but I'm not Stay speaking good. as a cast member. Supposed to be very careful what you say right here. Guy, yeah. <laughs> but I find it stupid that these people decide to protest in front of every possible entrance point to Disneyland because they are blocking the people that don't care what the protests are about to coming in and having a good time. I don't even like the religious people trying to spread the good word trying to protest on Disney property. People come to Disneyland to have a good time. They don't want to be bothered by preachers or protesters or even people giving out samples of this brand new fandangled fancy flavored water. They want to come to Disneyland. I know I wouldn't want to be bothered. Yes? If you go to Disneyland and there's free drinks outside, that's the business. At least you're getting free drinks on Disney property. That's the upside of that part of it. The rest of it, I agree with you. Thank you. But the but the, the whole free drinks thing, it's, like, it's that, that, <coughs> that's like when the Kings game had like the soda guys outside. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah, really. They got shit in your pockets. It's like, what? If you're trying to make a point, I, I just don't do it in front of Disneyland because there there are other ways to do it. And then the people at 
chick fila. Apparently, there, there's something to do uh, against gays and lesbians, I guess, because apparently uh, chick fila is run by a Christian corporation, and the Christians have strong feelings towards the homosexual people. I believe it's a stance that they made publicly about same-sex marriages. Okay. So, they are going to stage a kiss-in, where apparently same-sex couples are going to, <coughs> excuse me, just stand in front of a chick fil and just kiss. And apparently that's supposed to deter people from going in and getting a chicken sandwich. Yes, Jay? Y you know what deters me from going into Chick-fil-A and getting a chicken sandwich? The prices? Yeah. <laughs> I can go to Carl's Jr. and get a spicy chicken sandwich for a dollar. The only way to hurt chick fil -A is to not go there. If you want to protest... Well, I don't. <laughs> well, yeah. Because <laughs> they're too expensive. Well, some people still pay for it, but he's like, if you want to protest, then tell the people just not to go. And on the flip side, Chick Fil A can they can they can say whatever they want. It's called freedom of speech. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop because a couple people are kissing outside of to, to, uh, unless you are physically blocking the door and saying. You can't go in there. I mean, it's a, it, unless it's like a health scare or something, or there's there's uh, uh, Ebola or whatever, some kind of food for them. I'll still go to Chick. I'm not gonna go there on a regular basis. I'll splurge and go to a Chick. -fil but it's like that's that's not gonna stop me any way, shape, or form. You know, it's just there, there's there's a, if if you don't like it, don't go there. That's the best protest. Just stay away from it. You know. That's what I say on that. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Entertainment news. Snoop Dogg ain't Snoop Dogg no more. Right. He's Snoop Lion. And he's... Is there a Snoop Tiger and a Snoop Bear? Oh, oh my. my. Snoop, what are you doing, man? You... I, I, I hope this... this this reggae thing is like just a phase, you know. Cause, cause, Cause no matter what, he's gonna be Snoop. In fact, he got his name because of not Sperry Farm and Snoopy. He likes Snoop. He likes Snoopy so much he called himself Snoop. I do believe Snoopy is a dog. Well, that too. So. Well, there was an episode of his show where he he went to Knott's Berry Farm and he tried to get Snoopy into the Snoop Deville, but Snoop Snoopy couldn't fit. So, you know, Snoop, what are you doing, man? Do, is, are you going to change your Twitter name to Snoop, at Snoop Lion? I bet you know. what What's up with these celebrities doing all this weird stuff because they can? You know, it's, it's like, what, what what's next? Kim Kardashian's going to change her name and, and... Yeah, to Kim name. West. Princess Bubble Butt. Princess Bubble Butt. There you go. You lighten up one there, uh, Renegade? If I is can. It, is it dead? It's dead. What a shame. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else is happening in the world? Uh, Jade, should I tell them the good news? You haven't already. I just called you baby. Yes, it's official. Jade and I are in a relationship. <laughs> Even though you guys have been speculating for weeks that we already were. Love you, baby. Love you, too. There you go. We are in a relationship. She's my girlfriend. We are happy together. So happy together. Yes. She was like, baby, baby, baby. Um, oh, 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 Justin like Bieber. Like, we didn't hear enough yesterday. No really? on the that. Justin Bieber. No on the Justin Bieber. No. No really? Bieber here. No. Here's something that I haven't done. I, I, I promised 
the Donny Osmond story. The well-known Donny hey, Osmond story. Yeah. Yeah. The Donny Osmond story. Okay, we have to go back a few years in time. A few? Yeah. It's like 15 now, isn't it? <laughs> it was in college, so... I think it was, what, 1999? Somewhere in there? So almost 15 years. But anyway, we're in college. We're at Long Beach City College. We're in the broadcasting department there. And we get media passes to the Grand Prix of Long Beach. Me, I want to go into the celebrity paddock and just meet people. And do some work at the same time. And I look at the list, and Coolio's there, and 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 Donny Osmond's there, and uh, Jose Solano from Baywatch, and uh, Carl Lewis, the track star, was there, and it's like we'll get some interviews. You know, we 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 worked for uh, our group was I E News, Inter Infor Inter Information and Entertainment News. So, on the first day of the of the Grand Prix. We get access into the celebrity paddock. We 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 tell them you know we're a college band, or we're a college broadcasting group. Can we get some pictures and some B-roll and some interviews? And they go, well you know we're not supposed to do this, but we'll let you in today. But with tomorrow with the race, we can't let you in. I go, okay, cool. And so we're doing interviews and whatnot. And in the paper was a picture of Donny Osmond from a previous race that he had won. And so I went up to him and I politely said, you know, Mr. Osmond, may, may I please interview you? And he goes, yes, but please, Mr. Osmond is my father. I'm Donnie. Okay, no problem. We roll tape. And I start the interview by saying, you know, we're here with the celebrity favorite to win the Toyota uh, Pro-Am celebrity race, Donnie Osmond. He goes, whoa, 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 cut tape, cut tape. You can't say that you're going to jinx me, but we don't cut tape. We keep going. I go, but, you know, you, you won the race. You, you, you know the track. He goes, yeah, but, you know, you, you, you get that, that, that good feeling, and then something's going to happen. It's like, nothing's going to happen. You're going to be fine. You, you're going to win the race. Here comes Carl Lewis, and he just totally interrupts the, no, I'm going to win this race. I'm going to win this race. They go back and forth. We say thank you, and I get him to autograph the picture and whatnot. And so, we're, like I say, we're just hanging out, we're, we're eating the little hors d'oeuvres, we're drinking sodas and all that. So then the next day is the celebrity race, because the first day was practice and qualifying. And regardless of <coughs> what race you're, <coughs> excuse me, what race you're following, you always know when a, when a crash happens because the roar of the engines died down. So we're getting footage of the race, and we're looking, and on the sides of the cars are their names. And, and the engines died down, and we're, we're going, well, there's this person, there's this person, there's this person, there's this person. Where's Donnie's car? We go all the way around the track again. Where's yeah. Donnie's car? He crashed. He ended up actually flipping his car over. It's like, we better get over to the celebrity paddock now. Yes? Here comes Donnie on a on a uh, flatbed truck or whatever. He's fine. He had his helmet on. He had his he was harnessed in. He's fine. Not a scratch on him. And of course, all the media outlets, every possible media: CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox, ESPN, Race World, Telemundo, Univision, E News, VH1, MTV, every possible microphone you can think of. You think it was a a press conference. Donnie, are you okay? Donnie, what happened to the car? Donnie, who hit who? Donnie, blah, 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 blah. here comes the car. Scratches on one side. The mirrors hanging off. The fenders hanging off. The bumpers gone. Dents on the roof. And I look at my cameraman and I go, "Do you think?" He goes, "Nah." But in the back of my mind, I'm going, "I jinxed Donnie Osmond." Felt real bad, wanted to apologize, didn't get the chance to. Fast forward a couple months, I'm working in the cafeteria at the little grab-and-go, which was a little trailer on the other side of Long Beach City College, and I'm listening to Star 98.7, and, and Donnie Osmond's being interviewed by Ryan Seacrest, and um, I 
think the traffic girl's name was Lisa. I, I'm not certain. Whatever. Ryan Seacrest, you know, if you would like to talk to Donnie Osmond, give us a call. 1-800-STAR-98.7. Star 98.7, hello. Uh, hi, my name is Mike. I'm from Long Beach, California. Oh, hi, Mike from Long Beach, California. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm good. Just working and all that. I go, uh, I hear you got Donnie Osmond on the show. Yeah, we sure do. Um, but this is this is actually the, uh, the, the the one guy before you get on the air. The screener. The, the screener, thank you. He goes, why do you want to talk to Donnie Osmond? Well, I need to apologize to him. Why do you need to apologize to him? Well, I think I jinxed him during the, the Grand Prix of Long Beach a few years back. What happened? Tell him the whole story. Okay, we're going to put you on the air. Turn down your radio. This is Star 98.7. This is Ryan Seacrest with Donnie Osmond, and we're here with Mike from Long Beach. Hey, Mike from Long Beach. Hey, guys, how's it going? Uh, what do you want to talk to Donnie Osmond about? Now, I don't know if I'm truly on the air or not, because my radio's turned down, so I can't hear him. I go, uh, hi, Mr. Osmond. I'm not Mr. Osmond, I'm Donnie. Well, I, I need to apologize to you. For what? Do you remember the Long Beach of Grand Prix? Yeah. Do you remember crashing your car? Yeah. Do you remember a screaming young kid with a, with a mustache and a camera who interviewed you before the race? Yeah? I'm sorry. Is that you? Yeah. Uh, leave me alone! Click. <laughs> There's your story. He didn't even accept my apology. But that's okay. That's okay. So there's the world famous Donnie Osmond story. It happened. Marie has come to Disneyland a couple times and I would want to tell her, tell your brother I'm sorry for crashing his car. So, there you go. We are done for this episode. Let me throw out the usuals. Follow me at LBStatKid1977. Give me some to topics to rant about. Give me some questions and I'll answer them on air or on tape or whatever we are. Uh, I haven't been touting very much. So I, I do have a tout, so follow me on that. Send me some questions on Facebook. Uh, suggest some top ten stuff. We got a, a couple top tens coming up this weekend. And um, we're good to go. So, I'll see you all next week. Stat Boy out.